All right, welcome to Tuesday Bible Study. We are in Daniel, reading straight out of the New Living. After the enemy army is swept away, the king of the south will be filled with pride and will execute many thousands of his enemies, but his success will be short-lived. A few years later, the king of the north will return with a fully equipped army far greater than before. At that time, there will be general uprising against the king of the south. Violent men among your own people will join them in fulfillment of this vision but they will not succeed. Then the king of the north will come and lay siege to a fortified city and capture it. Best troops of the south will not be able to stand in the face of the onslaught. The king of the north will march upward unopposed. None will be able to stop him. Keep in mind, there is a Bible verse concerning the Antichrist who can make war with the beast. He will pause in the glorious land of Israel intent on destroying it he will make plans to come with the might of his entire kingdom and will force an alliance with the king of the south he will give him a daughter in marriage in order to overthrow the kingdom from within but his plan will fail and we had read this previous so it's the same story being told again after this he will, will turn his attention to the coastline and conquer many cities but a commander from another land will put an end to his insolence and cause him to retreat in shame let's move on to luke again that could be a parallel story we already established it was from the past but it is also more than likely uh, morphing into current end times because tomorrow i believe it is we get to the abomination that causes desolation so it's talking about the antichrist so Twice it talked about a daughter and an alliance. So that might be from the previous old time story, morphing into the new story. And of course, Trump's daughter didn't marry Kushner, which many thought to be a heavy political move. Anyway, and they talked together of all these things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they uh, communed together and reason, Jesus himself drew near and went with them but their eyes were holden that they should not know him so this is after jesus has um returned from the dead but they are not aware of it yet and he said unto them what manner of communications are these that ye have with one another as ye walk and are sad and one of them whose name was cleopas answering said unto him art thou only a stranger in Jer jerusalem and has not known the things which are come to pass there in these days. And he said unto them, what things? And they said unto him concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet, mighty indeed, and word before God and all the people. And how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. But we trusted that, and we trusted that it had been which should have redeemed Israel. And beside all of this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and a certain woman also in our company made us astonished, which were earlier at the sep sep sepulcher. <laughs> and when they found not his body, they came saying that he had also seen a vision of angels, which they said uh, were alive. And I think y'all understand understood that pretty well, but I'll I'll read it in New Living also. As they walked along with them talking about everything that had happened, as they talked and discussed these things, Jesus himself suddenly came and began walking with them, but God kept them from recognizing him. And he asked them, What are you what are y'all discussing so intently along? And they stopped short short, uh, sadness written across their faces. Then one of them, Cleopas, said, You must be the only person in Jerusalem that hasn't heard about the things that have happened the last few days. What things? Jesus asked things that happened to jesus the man from nazareth they said he was a prophet and did powerful miracles and he was mighty teacher in the eyes of god and of all the people but our leaders priests other religious leaders handed him over to be condemned to death crucify him we had hoped he was the messiah who had come to rescue israel this all happened three days ago then some women from our group of his followers were at his tomb uh, this morning and they came back with an amazing report they said his body was missing and that they and that they had seen angels who told them Jesus was alive. Anyway, love y'all very much.